White House is not only defending their EV push, but they're doubling down with a $623 million investment to build a charging network. I want to bring in the car coach, Lauren Fix. Lauren, I want to get your thoughts on this. They're putting more money, more, they're going after more of these uh, cars, pushing EVs on Americans. People don't seem to be buying them. You are correct, Cheryl. Yeah, and it's interesting is all the car manufacturers are putting out some pretty cool products like we've seen at the Consumer Electronics Show and other auto shows around the country. We have found that it's not necessarily the cars, it's the infrastructure. We Even if we went 100% electric, the infrastructure can't support it. And you're seeing that even with school buses in other countries. And then, of course, in Germany on December 13th, they stopped their EV mandate, and they're not offering that tax credit any longer. Neither is New Zealand or England. Well, you know, Hertz citing weak demand and high damage costs. You know, they're downsizing in their EV fleet by 20,000 cars. They're going back to gas-powered yeah. vehicles, Lauren. What does that tell you? That's about 25% of their fleet. Anytime I've gone to Hertz to rent a car, because I'm a member of their gold group, and they always say, oh, do you want to upgrade to a Tesla? And I'm like, no, I don't. I, I don't want to have to give it back with a full charge. And they're finding that they can't rent them. And I always talk to the people there, you know, are people asking for them? And they're saying no. And also the tires are being used up quicker because of the weight of electric vehicles. And that's something that people don't realize when you purchase an electric car, that the tires wear out quicker. So good for the tire manufacturers, but not necessarily good for Hertz. So they're, they're job is to get those vehicles used all the time. If not, they're losing money on each vehicle. So getting rid of 20,000 of them and hopefully finding homes for those is a good idea. Well, I'm a Hertz Gold member, and I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've been offered an EV, and now we know why. They've, <laughs> yeah. been, having, they've been having problems getting consumers to bite, so yes. there you go. Uh, Lauren Fix, it's yeah. always great to, to talk to you. Thanks for joining me.